But uh, so one of the other reasons in typical Bill.com fashion is to try to steer the, the discussion uh, towards their services. But so one of the things they came up with was doesn't allow me to pay online as one of their <laughs> big factors. Jeez. And so, yeah, I mean, that just, Bill. you know, com. yeah, Bill.com's really, really pushing that point home. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me the other side. <laughs> Bill.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in every one of their questions. The one, one that was on there that... Um, that I didn't expect to see on there, and I don't know how to I don't know how to think about it or deal with it is raises prices every year, because I grew up in the in the system where it was like, look, you got to raise your price every year because your employee costs, you know, in, yeah. inflation happens, yeah. employee costs go up. We've been living in a market with accountants uh, in the Northwest, but I think this has been nationwide actually, where in the last few years the wages and salary costs of accountants have just continually gone through the roof. So if you're operating a firm, you, your costs are going up dramatically every year. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to take the client will fire us because we raise prices every year. I mean, how do you, how would you deal with that? I mean, even regulation is changing every year. So even with the wages and inflation and all that stuff, right. you know, the job continually gets more difficult. And so that's going on in the background behind all of that as well. So, yeah, it does seem counterintuitive that, you know. Well, I think it's important for your clients to know what kind of value you're bringing to them. And obviously, whoever you're raising your price every year, you know, by too much, I think maybe this is, you know, and this is customer centric here yeah. that, you know, wait a minute, I was paying, I, I just did this actually, I'm, I'm about to cancel the insurance for my homeowners association. I'm the president of the homeowners association and they raised my insurance rate by like 50 to a hundred dollars. It's only like $600 a year or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but they raised it like $200 over the last, like, I don't know, five or 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize it until I'm doing the financial reports and I'm looking, I'm like, well, what was it like four years ago? I'm like, man. So maybe it's the significance that it's matters. A, yeah, yeah, I think the significance. It's 6% then, or something to cover right. average increases in living. That's not the big, it's it's well, when we're doubling prices right. or something that people are. And then I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting this discount for not having any claims or, you know, being such a small, easy policy. But I'm like, well, if it was a discount, you wouldn't be raising my, you know, uh, you just got a bunch of my money for 15 years in a row and haven't had to pay me anything. Like, well, and mm -hmm. see, that's the point is that like in that example, you don't feel that you're getting anything more from right. your homeowner's insurance each year. They're, they're, what they're bringing to the table isn't you right. know, getting better every year. Right. And you don't feel like the game of homeowner insurance is getting more difficult for them <laughs> right. to administer, right? right. right? So right. you're not going to accept that as a reason. Yeah. But, right. uh, yeah. but in, in an industry like accounting, I think it's a lot more obvious that there is a lot of things changing and that you know, sure. to keep up with it, it takes a, a different effort. Well, I can remember clients um, at my former firm, they would call and balk about like 3% raises every three years or something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, boy, are you kidding me? You know? Like, well, you know what I just thought of, and it kind of, to, to your point about things changing, is that this also flies in the face of a lot of firm strategies because a lot of firms will say, well, we'll take the small business client or kind of that startup business mm -hmm. and we'll do it at near break even or even a slight loss because once we're in there and we become their trusted advisor again, right, that, that those favorite words, trusted advisor, once we're in there and we're their trusted advisor and they stay with us over the next you know, five to 10 years, our fees are just going to go up. Right? right. And I think what we're seeing here is the client doesn't really like that, that, that no. scenario, yeah. right? you know, but, but again, I think reasonably, if you're a growing company, your needs actually change. And it usually means you need more and more, more services and more complex services over time. And, and so you should anticipate that your cost of legal accounting, all that stuff is going up over time, just like your headcount is going up as you're growing your business. Um, so hopefully that's not the issue for, for clients when they re when we see data like that but yeah that that one that one is that that one it yeah perplexed me a little bit in terms of it doesn't perplex me obviously that yeah of course if i'm the client i would not want my prices to go up if i could avoid it right but it perplexes me of okay well what do we do about it on our side as as the service providers of the firm i mean one of the things i thought of is well if we are charging a good fee if our services are highly valuable and we're charging a fee that is uh, commiserate with that value, um, you know, our, our actual margin might be pretty healthy to begin with. And so maybe, maybe that, you know, as long as we are doing that properly, our pricing right, it might be similar to what I was talking about value billing versus just billing right. for every minute that, that there's enough margin there that we don't have to raise prices. It's like, well, it doesn't matter if we lose, you know, 
some small part of our margin because we didn't raise prices three to six percent that year, right? right? It's not a you know it's not a big deal, and so maybe that's how we we avoid that taint if that is a if that's a a big issue. So yeah, it'd be interesting to kind of keep reading around and seeing where else that data point might come up to see if that's if that's a thing that people are constantly worried about their prices changing every year.